All right, a quick video on how to calculate the net present value of a potential project. So this project here, it's gonna cost us $200,000 to accept, and then after wages and maintenance and all that, it's gonna bring in $35,000 a year for 10 years. Uh, no salvage value in this case. Uh, we're gonna say that you know you can't even sell this back over scrap metal or anything like that. Um, we have a minimum acceptable rate of return of 12%. Uh, so yeah, what's the net present value of this project? Well, first of all, notice that all of the annual cash flows are the same. So we can use this formula here from the last video. We have the net present value is equal to the initial cost that, you know, this is the negative term, the initial cost uh, of pursuing the project plus all of the, the annual cash flows it's gonna be bringing in. And this part here, this term is the present value of an annuity formula. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and see if this, uh, if this is gonna give us our minimum acceptable rate of return. So our net present value is equal to we have negative 200,000, right? This is how much it cost us to pursue the project. Negative 200,000 plus, well, A, our annuity is 35,000. 35,000 times all this stuff. We have one minus, uh, we're just gonna combine this. This will be 1.12, right? And this is to the power of negative 10. And this is all over 0.12. Okay, so if you punch this in your calculator, we're going to get our net present value is equal to negative 200,000 plus, uh, if, and this term actually works out to be 197,757, uh, dollars and if you care about the cents, uh, it's 81 cents. Okay, so this obviously is going to be a negative number because negative 200,000 plus 197,000, we're going to get our net present value. Uh, this is going to equal negative 2,242 dollars and 19 cents. So what does this mean? Uh, this means that our net present value is negative, it's below zero, so we should reject this project. Um, but why should we do that? Well, that actually means we're not actually going to lose money on this project. We're just not going to make that 12% back. It turns out that this, uh, this, uh, the rate of return that we're going to be getting is actually just less than 12%. It's closer, it turns out in this case, it turns out to be somewhere more like 11.7 or something like that. Um, but according to your company, minimum acceptable rate of return is 12%, so you would reject this project.